Hey squad, welcome back. Now a number of my most recent videos have dealt with tips and tricks on how to work with drum tracks and today's video will also help you if you're working with stems from a live drum recording project. So remember if this video brings you value, like it, subscribe and leave me a comment and also if you feel moved to do so you can support the channel with a super thanks donation. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so here are the raw unprocessed drum tracks from my recent video about mixing live drums in Logic Pro X and you can check that video out right here. Now have you had a situation where you've recorded your drum session and everything seemed okay until later on and your drum has gone away and the band is dispersed for the day. You listen back and you find that there's a problem with one of your drum mics. Well that's exactly what happened here with this project. So we've got two kick drum mics here, one on the inside of the bass drum and one on the outside. And I'm particularly interested in what's happening here with the outer kick mic. Listen to this section where everything's pretty clean. And now over here, you can hear a clear difference now my understanding is the kick drum mic was got repositioned or fallen over and the engineer at the time wasn't aware of it. However, I inherited the project and there is a fix for this. So let me show you now how I'm going to fix this by replacing this entire kick drum stem with MIDI. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is make sure we select the track and the kick drum region that we've recorded. We now need to come up to track and come down here to replace or double drum track. Click on that. And now on screen, we have a dialog box as well as a MIDI region just down here. Under instrument, I'm going to select kick. I'm also going to choose replace and the default relative threshold is minus 12 dB. Now that is more than sufficient. If your audio recording is quite low in terms of gain, you might want to adjust this, but in the main, minus 12 dB is more than adequate. You can click this to preview, and down here the trigger note defaults to auto. If you click on here and slide down, you can then select where you believe your MIDI kick note will be mapped to on the keyboard. And by default, mine are usually mapped to C1. So I'm going to click that. Timing offset, I generally leave untouched and set average attack time. Again, I leave that untouched because, because every time I've done this, I've successfully achieved my results without messing with these. Now I'm going to click OK. And now what we've got is this right here is my outer kick. And it's been mapped to a kick drum on my sampler. So let's have a listen. That's a kick drum on my sampler. If we go in, you will see the analysis of the audio recording has not only analyzed the position and timing of my kicks, also the velocities. So as you can see right here, things intensify and then they cool off down here. Now this particular kick is okay, but I prefer to use kick drums from the drum kit designer. So let's pull that up. I'm gonna pull up the SoCal kit, which is pretty cool. Now let's have a listen. Sounds a lot more live than my previous kit. And now let's select, let's select the kick drum itself and let's choose a different kick drum. So I have all of these options here in terms of kicks that I can use. Plus I have all of these parameters here like tuning, dampening and gain for each individual kick. Now let's have a listen to my drum kit using the replaced kick. Okay, now here's the original. So let's just mute the outer kick, which is the one we replaced. So in effect, my new kick drum region means I can actually switch these two out and just run with this. Remembering as well, I've still got some kick sound in the overheads. 
OK. And now I can tune this up according to my personal taste. And of course, I've chosen the SoulCal kit, but I could have chosen any of these. Bluebird, maybe. Now let's play the section that was offending us before, which was down here. Okay, all nice and clean. Now this process is not just for repairing problems. I can choose to beef things up and just generally replace drum parts if I want a cleaner, richer sound from my MIDI drums. Let's, so let's try it with this snare top. So once again, select the track, come to track, replace or double. Okay, I'm changing to snare and changing this also to D1, which is generally where my snares begin. I'm going to hit OK. And once again, I'm going to switch this out to the drum kit designer. Let's pull up the Bluebird kit. Okay, so, so let's just solo this snare. Okay. Let's, let's bring in the overheads. And the hi-hats. So you still get a lot of the ambience of the drum kit from the overhead mics, but the definition and quality of the snare and the kick drum that we've replaced most certainly add a richer quality to the drums. So there's one final option that I want to show you, which is definitely worth exploring. So let's say you're generally happy with the sound of the drum stems, but you just want to beef things up that little bit more. So let's take this bottom snare right here. So of course the snare drum is double mic. We've got a dynamic mic pointing at the bottom of the snare and we've got another dynamic pointing at the top. This one here is at the bottom. Let's have a quick listen. So I wanna beef up this snare. So what we do, go to track, replace or double drum track, snare, but this time we're gonna choose doubling. And once again, we select a snare just here. And we click OK. So this right here is my new snare drum. OK, so let's mute this one right here. This is the one we did previously. So we've got a replacement kick. We've got the original snare bottom and we've got our new snare. Once again, we're going to change this and I'm going to go to the drum kit designer. This time, let's try Brooklyn. Okay, so of course we've still got some snare coming through on the overhead, but in terms of reinforcing our snare drums, beefing things up and just adding more character, we can most certainly follow that principle. I really do hope you found value in the video. So remember to check out the video I did on mixing drums and like this one if you're feeling what I'm doing and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll be back again real soon. I'm Deuce, I'm out. Peace.